Medina from Germany. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa barakatuh. So I fear a lot of fitna in my home. So I spend like a lot of time in one of like many detailed mosques. The problem is people label these detailed mosques as like Masjid al-Dirar and say that one is not allowed to pray in them or even be in them since they do like a lot of bidah and combine the Turkish state with like the religion. If I don't pray with the Imam there, can I still spend my time in such a mosque because of my situation at my home? Who is telling you that this is a Masjid Dirar? On, on what basis are they labeling it as Masjid Dirar? Medina? Yes. Um, so I, there are many people that say that, and like there are also, I think, quite um, knowledgeable people that I know that I find quite knowledgeable that also say like that these mosques are not good and I don't know, but I'm not so sure if it's like, I, I don't know what, what a mosque al Dirar is and I don't know if that's like actually something okay. that you cannot enter. Okay, first of all, labeling people is very easy. And especially when there is a hidden agenda and a person is driven by political views that may differ with others. To us Muslims, we don't care about this. We don't care about politics. We care about aqidah. So if the imam of the masjid is upon the correct aqidah, he's not deviant, he's not an innovator, then the masjid is like any other masjid. I can pray in it, I can stay in it, I can do whatever I want and don't listen to anyone else. But if the masjid is known to be a center for deviant sects and cults propagating bad information about Islam or has a bad corrupt aqidah, in this case, yes, this is true. You have to stay away from praying there. And if you must, because this is the worst or the best of the two evils and the lesser of the two evils, then you go there, but don't pray behind such corrupt uh, imams and just be there because it's a masjid and you can stay safe there and Allah knows best.